my 16 month old brother who was snatched, who was ripped from the arms of his mother, my mother, by the Nazis in Auschwitz. This was racism, this was anti-Semitism, this was bias in its most evil form. 75 years later today, the moral fabric of our society is once again being threatened. Anti-Semitism is rearing its ugly head in our city, in our country. We have incidents in Crown Heights, assaults in Borough Park, in Flatbush, in Queens, in Staten Island, in the Bronx. And make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a Jewish issue. Racism, I mean this may sound strange, but racism does not discriminate. They will come after you. If you're black, if you're Asian, they will come after you. If you're Hindu, if you're Muslim, they're going to come after you. It is incumbent upon us to make sure that our politicians enact legislation that's going to go ahead and make these crimes very serious and very severe. It is incumbent upon us to make sure that the district attorney's office is going to deal with these, these perps, these perpetrators, in the most serious manner possible. And it's incumbent upon us to make sure that the Board of Ed revamps their entire curriculum so that the youth know what anti-Semitism, what bias, what prejudice is all about. New York City should recognize Holocaust Remembrance Day as well as a week of education. And I came here to Madison High School with two Holocaust survivors speaking to 40 students. And the impact that was made that day is something that will never be forgotten. It's not only about going into schools and educating our young adults, but it's also empowering them and getting them involved in the everyday life that we face sometimes here in New York City and across the country. In addition to that, I sponsored and passed the bill with two of my colleagues, Councilmember Mark Levine and Councilmember Donovan Richards. And this will mandate New York City to have a new mayoral office to go out and tackle hate crimes across our city. Another goal that I'm hoping to introduce within the next few months is every time we have a hate crime here in the city, we call our Brooklyn District Attorney or any other four district attorneys and ask for, the, for this crime to be charged as a hate crime. And then it's forgotten because the charge is there and then it goes to the grand jury and then we walk away. We need to know the motive of each hate crime. Mm -hmm. And my bill that I'm introducing will mandate all five district attorneys to report to the New York City Council the motive of each hate crime. Woo! Is it because someone has hate in their blood? Is it a 12-year-old child that scrolled a swap sticker which just happened last week at PS 139? Is it two swap stickers Scrolled in Brighton Beach Avenue that we had to put up a $20,000 reward. We need to educate our future generations. We need to empower our future generations. And we need to learn the motives of such hate crimes. <laughs> on January 15th, right here in our district on Sheepshead Bay, Three individuals were knocked over their head with a hammer. We called it the hammer attack. I call it attacking individuals because they were Asian Americans. An individual walked into a restaurant, went after the owner, went after the manager, and went after one of the staff members only because they were Asian. People should not have to go to work to provide food for the family, only not to come back home. This is totally unacceptable. And the only way that here in New York City we will have tolerance for all is when you look 
at a room full of people representing different ethnic backgrounds, different religions, wearing different clothing, representing different kinds of people. We are all one. We are all united. And today is the beginning that we will send a message. We will send a message to those who hate us, the issue of hate crimes is something that I, ask, I get asked about over and over again. Why is this happening? And the councilman has called me on many occasions talking about the issues that we're facing in Brooklyn and elsewhere in the city, and it's undeniable that there's an uptick. But we've been also now talking about what the solutions are going to be. The DA's office has created a dedicated hate crimes bureau that will help and assist our police department in investigating apprehending and ultimately convicting people for hate crimes and they will go to jail but the solution to this is right here this young people give me the optimism that i know that we're going to get right back on track what's happening here is something that we're going to gain control of this is not going to turn into europe of the past or even europe of the present we're going to control what's happening in Brooklyn. And we're, going to, and we're going to do it. We're going to do it by bringing people together. And so I want to thank the councilman for organizing today. There's going to be additional get-togethers. We're going to work together. And we're going to do something that hasn't been done in the city in a while. We're going to bring people from different communities together on, so we can have common themes. It's a lot harder to attack someone who you know, who you talk to, who you have a dialogue with. And so we're going to work together. Our humanity comes in so many different flavors. It's like Baskin and Robbins. And I love every single one of these flavors. All of us. And understand that we cannot tolerate. We cannot Turn away from hateful rhetoric. And ask yourself, how much am I doing to root out hate? I ask you to watch at these children today here. Do you think they know anything about hatred? So each one of us cannot underestimate the power that we have collectively to make sure that hate crimes are not committed in our state. That we need to watch our words, that we need to set a tone of compassion, humanity, togetherness. Why do you think that New York City is so vibrant. The diversity of our city. That's what gives us strength. And today, we are here to say, with one voice, that we will fight to make sure that New York City and our nation continues to be the beacon of hope, the envy around the world. It is up to us that much we can commit to. We have to renew. Every time there is an attack on one of us, is an attack on all of us.